can make a difference in somebody needs to make a difference. Um, some more special people. Everybody's special to me. <laughs> Even I had to uh, be reminded that I know some of the people here who are behind the mask, and I can't tell you, uh, tell who you are. But now I understand that I know you, and I know you, and uh, some people that I wish were here today who otherwise, as John said, would be here. My neighbor Jerry would be here. I, I wish I could see him here in the church this morning, but I'll see him at some point this week, and I'll just wave. <laughs> Y'all can tell him what I said. <laughs> but the very special people, of course, that I have is my own family. Amen. My wife, Rosalind, is here today. Amen. I here for 46 years. <laughs>
they turned quickly from the way in which their fathers walked in obeying the commands of, commandments of the Lord. They did not do so. And when the Lord raised up judges for them, the Lord was with the judge and delivered them out of the hand of their enemies all the days of the judges. For the Lord was moved to pity by their groanings because of those who oppressed them and harassed them. And it came to pass when the judge was dead that they reverted and behaved more corruptly than their fathers by following other gods to serve them and bow down to them. They did not cease from their own doing nor from their stubborn ways. That's the word. That's the word. Lord, thank you so much for this great privilege that we have to meet in the sanctuary. God, we thank you that we know you through the word of God, the written word. God, you said in this very word a sure, a more sure word than the very voice of God that spoke out of heaven concerning Jesus. This is my beloved son in whom wow. I am well pleased. Yes, yes. Thank you for this sure word, Lord. Establish our hearts by your word. God, we thank you for the difference that you are, and we pray that you would make a difference this morning. As we hear from you, God, I want to uh, I pray like the old preacher used to pray. I come before you as an empty picture before a full fountain. Lord, Lord take me out of the way. Pour into me your word and pour out of me your word to this waiting congregation that we might have what you see fit for us to have to appropriate for our lives so that we ourselves can make a difference. We know that you're calling us for that very purpose today and we thank you Lord. Make us willing. We trust you to do that. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let me take this out of the way so I can stay close to my notes so that I won't be here all day. <laughs> But God makes a difference when he needs the spiritual background first. Moses and Joshua, Joshua at, at 110 years old, is dead. Right. And that generation died. The great nation of Israel had been wonderfully blessed because of faithful spiritual leadership. This nation of whom God said, and we see it in Exodus uh, 11, just to be part of verse 7, Exodus 11, 7, it says that you may know that the Lord uh, put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Amen. Amen. God makes a difference. We know that Moses, Joshua, and they all were sometimes up, sometimes down, but when, uh, uh, but when God would come and say to them, as we see here in Judges 2.2. 2. But you have not obeyed me. Wow. Why have you done this? <laughs> it's then that God, would, uh, that they would have the good sense to weep and cry out to God. Like, for instance, when they were in slavery in Egypt, the Bible says, and they cried out by reason of their past masters, and then God had pity, and he sent Moses, he told Moses to go down to Pharaoh and tell them, let my people go. <laughs> yeah, right. Then the God, then God will come and rescue them. Amen. And in this setting today, now things are vastly different. The patriarchs are dead and gone. The family is acting crazy. <laughs> Oh, preacher would say I'm going somewhere. <laughs> God is in today's vernacular getting tired of this mess. The same God who always came to their rescue, as we see verse 20, was hot with Israel. Because they cease not from their own doings, nor from their stubborn ways. That's it. That's it. Question. You think God's going to get him some more people? Mm -hmm. uh, get him some more uh, children? Mm -hmm. Say no. 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 <laughs> because the answer is in Judges 2.22. Right. 
I'll prove Israel. All right. Which means test. I'll test Israel to see if they will keep the way of the Lord. Israel had it made. <laughs> but they were attracted to the world. Yeah. All right. All right. They were in the promised land. They had been in slavery and now they're in the promised land. All right. But all that's in the world, and that's what they were attracted to. The lust, the flesh, the lust, the eyes, and the pride. They chose that over the good things of the Lord. This passage illustrates much of what is prevalent in America. There's a pandemic. Not of COVID-19, <laughs> but of sin. Go ahead. Yeah. It's only a test. <laughs> every man, excuse me, every minute of every hour of the day, we prove if we worship idols. Or do we worship the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? What is our purpose? We're made in the image of God. For his glory. The Bible says in Colossians that God fills up all of creation. When you hear people say God is everywhere. everywhere. That's what that means. Mm -hmm. He fills up all of his creation because he has people who have his spirit who are everywhere Amen. displaying his image in this dark world making God seen. He's seen in our lives. Yes, and that's what this world needs today. One cannot simply ignore God. Can't do it. You're all with that excuse. excuse. Right. That's what Romans says. Romans one twenty. You cannot act as if He does not exist. Right. He exists everywhere. Right. And we see it. Yeah. 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 So rather than a uh, a more normal three point message, according to my subject. God makes a difference. Mm -hmm. I want us to consider aspects of the truth revealed by this text. Mm -hmm. I will walk through the text and mostly uh, consider a thought that I have. I usually take a subject and also I have a thought that's kind of prominent or prevalent in my mind. I, I, my, my thought was consider repenting of our ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Consider repenting of our ways that are like Israel's and turning around and following Christ. All right. It's there. It's there. Else we'd be knuckleheads just like them. <laughs> and while we're asking ourselves, why did they do that? Mm -hmm. We'd be asking ourselves, why am I doing this? Right. Mm -hmm. right. So, to walk, start to walk through Judges 2.10. All that generation were gathered unto their fathers. All right. And there arose another generation after them which knew not the Lord, nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. In these modern times, we have forgotten the Lord who delivered us. We've come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord. He never failed me yet. All right, all right. But in this microwave society, this generation, we become very idolatrous. For a slice of the American dream, we have forgotten our heritage. We have forgotten the people that we are. We've come through the wilderness. We're in the promised land. We've stood on the shoulders of our forefathers, and we've forgotten that God's judgment is coming. Yes, it's coming. Verse 11 says, And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served Baal. Baal is a false god. He's no god at all. He's an idol that some are serving. Baal can't make a difference. Baal does not have the whole world in his hands. Baal can't deliver us from the pandemic of sin in our lives. Oh, my God. The Lord, the God of the Bible has done it already. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. what does he require of us? Do right. Mm -hmm. Don't do evil. 
What's the advantage in doing right? <laughs> and the answer is, seems like those who do evil do better. I got it. But there is a payday for doing evil. Romans yeah. yeah. right. 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 6 23 says, For the wages of sin is death. Yes. Yes. But the, the gift of God is eternal life. Right. Right. Through right. Jesus right. Christ, right. our right. Lord. Right. Choose the gift. Yeah. Right. Not the payday. Mm -hmm. right. Verse 12 says, and they forsook, which means, uh, what's that mean? They, they forsook. <laughs> that means they quit. They quit. Right. they quit the Lord, the God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt. Mm -hmm. And they followed other gods, of the gods of the people that were around about them, and bowed themselves unto them, and Provoke the Lord to anger. Get me, get me. 13. And they forsook the Lord mm -hmm. and served Baal and Ashtaroth. Mm -hmm. So you can see that they were uh, at all times religious. Mm -hmm. And that, quite frankly, is the issue. That's it. Mm -hmm. People are religious. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That, that, that yeah. means yeah. you're superstitious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember, even though I grew up in a Christian home. Go ahead, go ahead. Before I knew the Lord, though, I was very superstitious. I was religious. I wore a cross around. I was in track. And I was one of the best pole vaulters in the state. But before I would get ready to run down the runway, I'd make my pole ready. And I had my cross around my neck. And I would bow my head and pray. You know what I was praying, don't you? It wasn't the Lord saying me was Lord. I want to make the high. I want to win. <laughs> Superstition. <laughs> I believed him for the thing that I wanted. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. was forsaking him in my yeah. life. Yeah. And of course, that lifestyle continued. I'll get to a little bit more of yeah. that. Go ahead. But superstition is not good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Superstition yeah. won't deliver you from yeah. sin. Yeah. 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 But God makes a difference. Yeah. 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 And they forsook the Lord, God of their fathers, who brought them out of the hand of Egypt. And they followed the other gods of the gods of the people that were around about them. Mm -hmm. And they bowed themselves unto them and provoked the Lord to anger. And the he says, and they forsook the Lord yes. and served Baal. And mm -hmm. There's a great emphasis on the fact that Israel forsook God. Mm -hmm. Because they forgot Israel forgot God. A lot of a lot of these things are true, but they forgot God. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, Israel was commanded by God to memorialize events in their lives. You yeah. know this. Yeah. All right. They would pile up stones and build altars so that they would remember. Mm -hmm. yeah. Surely, if they remembered what He did. Yeah. They wouldn't want to be like everybody else. Right. We used to sing songs to cause us to remember. All right. All right. We used to sing, give me that old time religion. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. was good yeah. for my yeah. new mother. Yeah. It's good yeah. enough for me. Yeah. It was good for all the sides. Right. It's good enough for me. Yeah. It makes me love everybody. Yeah. It's good to memorialize events in our lives that cause us to be more stable and not to forsake the God of our fathers and our mothers. It was good. We used to a bit of humor here. We used to eat chitlins. But now we can we can eat a little bit higher on the hall. <laughs> but, but you know, I think the reason we used to do that in my particular generation is that we were looking back to our forefathers and we were memorializing. We were remembering when that generation before us, for especially those who are poor or black, you, you couldn't eat any higher on the hall. <laughs> you ate what you had. You ate yeah. chicken. You ate in pig feet. Yeah. And you got by, but it was the Lord who was making a difference. All right. All right. So there was a generation that came after slavery. There was a generation.
generation after that that was willing to remember that it's God who has delivered us. Yes. Yes. I want to remember what it was like. Yes. All right. So, Lord, I humble myself before you and I'll eat this poor food. Yes. Yes. I can do better. But, I, Lord, I'm yes. thankful yes. that I can connect to my past, yes. All right. my heritage, that I can right. see what God has done. Yes. All right. All right. Mm. One of my biggest mistakes. One of my favorite stories about family heritage. Now, this is uh, in a discipline context. And it's a story about a father's love. All right. In a moment when I forsook my father's ways, I poked the bat. I did what Israel did. I, I got too big for my britches. I, I, I forgot where I had come from. I forgot my raising. Go over it. And uh, for some reason, I don't know why I was willing to make God angry. I mean, my daddy angry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I lost my mind like that. But for some reason or other, that day, I think I was wanting to be like those around me. I thought I, in that moment, I'm like those around me who could be belligerent to their fathers. They can give a holy look. But I hadn't been raised for that. I hadn't been raised to give a holy look. So in that moment when my daddy came to me and, and uh, we had this thing, every now and then when I wanted a little piece of change, and we couldn't have jobs in those days when I was growing up. There weren't any fast food places in the little city where I grew up. Oh, we didn't have jobs. If you had any money, it was because you found it. <laughs> my dad didn't have any extra money. But my daddy would sometimes give me a quarter or 50 cent shiny shoe. Oh, daddy's shoes always shiny. <laughs> and I high gloss. Yeah. And he would give me a little bit of money to shiny shoes. And he came to me one day, he was meeting me. I can still see it. <laughs> through the stall. <laughs> when he was coming to me out of the living room into the family room there, he said, so, said something like, Gary, yeah, I want you to shine my shoes. And I knew that there would be some change in those sh shoes for me, but for some reason or other, and I wanted to reveal. I wanted to say, I don't have to shine your shoes. <laughs> and, and, and I turned just a little bit like, Something like that. Can you all see it? In your <laughs> eyes? In your eyes, I, I turned kind of like that, and I never saw it coming. <laughs> it was the blow. <laughs> I could tell it was an open hand. He wasn't trying to kill me, but he was trying to knock me down, and he did. Upside the head, and I was on the floor, and he was preaching to me. I'm not sure what he was saying. <laughs> couldn't understand it. But I have an idea, the context of it. We don't do that. I haven't raised you like that. What do you mean looking sideways at me? Straight up your face. Yeah. When finally, though, I was able to pull myself together, I thought, well, he's going to be sorry he did that. <laughs> but he wasn't sorry. He kept in the, in the same path that he was talking that same way. He kept that same conversation up. That line, that common thread, that thought. You don't look at me sideways. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> and Dr. Spock says, but don't spank me too. All right. All right. <laughs> Come on. That didn't make me hate my daddy. <laughs> my daddy loves me. Yeah. He loved me to the day that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. He loved me to the day that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then three other brothers of mine, yeah. and my sister, and my mother. So what I'm saying is he loved me because he was a godly man. He had the word of God in him, oh. and he was right. living out that right. word. when he hit me upside my head. Yeah. I knew better. Yes. Yeah. That's, That's right. what God is saying to me. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Sometimes we need a blow to knock us down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Recognize yeah. 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 Generation is forsaking the Lord. Oh, yes, yes. 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 I think it's because we have let some things slip. Yes, yes, We're not recognizing that God makes the difference. Right. Yes, yes. 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 We think the money makes the difference. Come on, God. A fancy yes. car makes the difference. Yes. Yes. My house is better than yours. Yes. Right. Yes. That's not what yes. makes the difference. Yes. We're wondering why there's un 
rest in the mission. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, man. What is it? What is it? The song says, uh, "Sin is a reproach to any people." Amen. Yeah. Yeah. The pandemic of sin. All right, man. Hallelujah. Right. Right. A reproach. And again, from my own experience, and maybe yours, but this may be what we are seeing every day is because the anger of the Lord is hot against us. Oh my God. Individually and collectively. Amen. <laughs> I remember this is what, how many times have we heard uh, uh, Pastor Robinson say, the wheels of justice turn slowly. They do turn. They do turn. <laughs> and they grind exceedingly fine. They do. So what we're saying is the wheels of justice. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It will catch up. It's like it in it America, we act right. as if there's no consequence. Yeah. But there is a consequence to yeah. our sins. Yeah. Yeah. The same way that he went away, he's coming back again. No. Yeah. His yeah. judgment is in his hands. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the anger of the Lord was hot. I'm in verse 14. Yeah. Hot against Israel. And he delivered them. Did I say the devil delivered them? No. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. God was hot against Israel and he delivered them into the hands of spoilers. Or as it says in the old King James, of plunderers that spoil them. And he sold them into the hands of their enemies. He did. He did. Round about. So that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. Oh, Go ahead and be thinking about the prophet okay. son. All right. <laughs> because sometimes he delivers the long way around. Yeah. Uh -huh. like he did the prodigal. Yeah, he did. I left home. Mm -hmm. Went away to a far country. All right. Mm -hmm. And I forgot my raisin. Remind me again why uh, Israel could no longer stand against their enemies. Because he delivered them yeah, he delivered. Yeah, he delivered. into the hands of he the spoilers. It was because that the hand of the Lord was against them for evil. God had a plan. He did. Like with Joseph, God had a plan for me. Yes. Did you know that if you're against the Lord, that he's against you? All right. Yeah. All right. Who would dare to be against the Lord? That's crazy. <laughs> For 22 years, I was crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was in the hands of the spoilers. All right. Mm -hmm. Riding away in my sinful lifestyle. I was, a, I was away in Europe and Germany and Belgium and Luxembourg and looking at uh, England and France, all of those places. And I was like those around me. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. But I had a pen back. Amen. I married her in uh, November 1974. Oh <laughs> I'm talking now about getting delivered. <laughs> <laughs> she was a judge in my life. <laughs> Go ahead. When I didn't spiritually know my left hand from my right hand, God's sovereign hand was using her in my life. Oh All right. All right. My father and my mother were judges in my life. I believe that there were times when only because of them that I backed off the accelerator mm -hmm. enough that I did not die All right. in a fiery crash. All right. Yes, yes. All right. All right. All right. I had a fiery crash, but God's mercy kept me. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Twice. Twice. My brother crashed. Four in the car, and he didn't survive. Mm -hmm. Exodus thirty three nineteen says, "I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy." Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. As the old people would say, "I should have been dead." Yeah. 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 And I thought I would be. There's nothing more that I love to do than race cars. Yeah. Yeah. 
But God's mercy kept me. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. Yes, he did. Men, we fight for our wives and our children. Mm -hmm. I don't love enough to leave everything to chance. God has a means of his deliverance. Mm -hmm. Amen. The difference that he makes. He honors our efforts. That's what you see there in Philippians uh, 2.13 where it talks about work out your soul uh, salvation for he works in you both to will and to do for his own glory. Amen. He makes a difference. He has a prescribed method of doing things. He says obey me. He gives us the means. He told us to pray. There's so much more he told us to do. Pray. Do my will. He said the fight, the good fight of faith. Leave them an inheritance and a legacy. Live a life before them. Yes. Verse 17, and yet they would not hearken unto their judges. It says they turned quickly out of the way oh which their fathers had walked in. But I just told you that I turned back. <laughs> Seems like uh, they're not listening. But God is able. <laughs> he tells us that because the Lord was with the judge, that there was deliverance. All right, all right. All right. I've been delivered. Yes, right. man. Didn't deliver myself, but it was because of the judge yes. in my life. God used my wife. He used my mother. He used yes. the guilt even that I felt for my uh, walking away from the way that had been prescribed yes. to me. Yes. And there was that uh, shame of the sin in my life that yes. made me want to do better. Yes. Uh, yes. As I say, that honor for father and mother mm -hmm. as with that first uh, uh, that Verse of promise that we see in Exodus, honor your father. Amen. Amen. And I Amen. believe that it was that verse that kept me. Amen. Amen. There were times when I decided, I, I, like we used to say, when I, when I was in the army, I was a soldier. We had, we had an expression. You're going off to Vietnam. You don't know where you're going to live or die. So we'd say, do die, do die. I don't care if I do die. <laughs> But we use things like that to cover up. But what if I had that? All right. All right. All right. All right. Come on. What if I had that? Oh, Lord, have mercy to you. That's how you know that you're experiencing grace for grace. Yeah. Old people had a way of saying that. They said, you're not fit to live, but you're not ready to die. Yeah. Yeah. That's grace for grace. That's grace. Yeah. You're not fit to live. All right. You're not ready to die. You're not ready to die. Ready to die. All right. All right. So God's mercy kept me. Amen. Amen. So it repented the Lord because of their groanings by reason of them that oppressed them and vexed them. So folks, don't stop groaning. Don't ever give up. Yes, God is at work. Yeah. We say in church he had a, 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 a speech that was 39 words. I've looked that up. It was a little bit different from the way we proclaim it. There was more to the speech than just those words that are so famous in our memory. But he said, don't give up. This was in time of war. They were bombing him, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't give in to the enemy. He said, don't ever give up. All right, God. Never, 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 never give up. All right. Don't give up. All right. And that caused a tiny nation to be able to resist a war machine yeah. in those days. Yeah. And even though England was bombed to shreds, they didn't give up. And now we see that they still are a sovereign nation. Yeah. Still standing because yeah. they yeah. wouldn't yeah. give up. Yeah. And I'm saying that to us today. Don't give up. All right. Keep groaning to the Lord. Yeah. He's a strong deliverer. Yeah. Don't ever give up. Yeah. Verse 19, when the judge was dead, they corrupted themselves. Yeah. My final thought is in uh, John 10, 42. Um, the 
There's some popular statements in the book of John. John is my favorite book, so I, I uh, kind of live and my spirit is just full of those things that we see in the book of John. And one thing I remember was that when they were rejecting Jesus, oftentimes we'd see this expression that they pick up. They picked up stones to stone him. Yeah. But God yeah. would deliver Jesus out of their sight. Yeah. But in uh, John 10, 42, it says, but some of them believed on yeah, him. That's right. Yeah. That's, right. And that's why we have to persevere. Right? Yeah. We, we have to continue yeah. doing what we do because we know that God makes a difference. Yes. That just means you do what he told you to do. He'll make the difference. Amen. So much is up to us fathers. We can't do after we did. Oh my God. I want to leave a legacy of righteousness. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. And, and you all probably know it. And you can say this to encourage my children. I say my children because my Sons and children, and Mason and Peyton, they were grandchildren, and they were children. This generation of young people, even that I would like to see delivered. Yes, right. amen. Yes, sir. I'm probably going to leave them a house. Maybe in a few years, Peyton, you can have my car. I can be a new one if you can have that blue car. <laughs> Mason's already got one. By then, we might have bought him another one. I don't know. But I want to leave an inheritance. Amen. But I won't leave more than money. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Yes, sir. I could tell a long story about a family yes. that I had in North Carolina yes. that, that they left him about $3 million. Come on, come on. Didn't do him any good because he didn't. He didn't hold to the legacy that should have been left for him. And because he had so much cash dollars, just within a couple of years, mm -hmm. was gone. Yes. His life was gone because he had money and he didn't have a legacy of righteousness. He followed that. So I'm going to leave a legacy of righteousness. Righteousness. Because I know that.